Click on for running back. Get Barkley. Well, I think if you look at the quarterbacks, 
experience in this draft. All of them come into this draft and, and haven't been coached up all that hard. You talk about Hugh Jackson in Cleveland. They also have Todd Haley, who's going to be in his first year as offensive coordinator. He's done a great job at every stop that he has been most recently in Pittsburgh. I can assure you, whichever quarterback lands there, he's going to be coached up and he's going to be coached well. Well, the pick is in, guys. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Giants uh, are already on the clock and have been for a minute, so they already have the information. And phone lines are ringing, and Jackson is currently strolling around inside the Berea, Ohio, Browns war room, shown by Honda. If it is Darnold, then the Giants might get Barkley and be open for business for another quarterback. If it is Mayfield, the roof will be torn off of this building, and all sorts of phone rings in New Jersey with the Giants will happen. But it's time to get the first pick of the 2018 draft. Here's the commissioner to make the announcement. Stupid. Last year. 
Very low turnover. You go draft Baker Baker next to ball. And he's won a lot of football games. But when I watched him for a comparison, I had to go back. I heard Russell Wilson. I heard Drew Brees. I saw Jeff Garcia when I watched him. You talk about somebody that's a little bit frenetic when you watch him in the pocket. Very busy. But he throws with excellent accuracy. He can anticipate. He can throw a touch. And when he extends the pocket, he's not looking to run. He's looking to make plays and throw down the field. And that's something that Jeff Garcia had some success with. Well, Baker Mayfield was the apple, supposedly, of the Jets' eye in the Big Apple. He is now off the board. The Jets are now more than a minute into being on the clock for their pick because the New York Giants have not traded this pick. They have made it. Could it be Sam Darnold? Could it be Saquon Barkley? This is a linchpin pick of the 2018 draft after a stutter of a beginning. Here is the commissioner with the pick of the Giants. And they're going the Giants. This is what they're going the Giants. Yeah, let's go with that. With the second pick in the 2018 NFL draft, the New York Giants select Saquon Barkley. We've been lost. That's why they didn't get a QB. Oh, wait, what? Young man's abilities, but I like him to three down back. We saw some of the things that he's able to do. 
do as a receiver. He's a good blocker. I agree with Mike Mayock, number one player in the draft, great pick. And he goes to the Giants, second overall, the Honda War Room, the cam presented by Honda, showing Dave Gettleman on the right there. There's Steve Tisch next to John Farrell, the Giants draft party. They are just ecstatic. They cannot believe their good fortune. That young man wearing number 13 is also personified in a way Odell Beckham's excitement he just tweeted out moments ago that Saquon Barkley is in the backfield with Odell Beckham out wide. Eli Manning just got himself a heck of an offensive weapon with Nick Solder to keep him upright. I mean, the Giants have made some interesting moves. But, Sean, your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think about what's real there this uh, for John Elway late in his career. You know, he's got a running game, he's got guys to throw the ball to, and Mike Mitch is really short the game and have a big impact guy. Can't even pick, pick up a linebacker. This guy invited four games and broke 27 tackles. He broke 27 tackles in four games. So some of those handoffs that the Giants have been getting three or four yards on, someone's going to go for 60. Uh, this guy's special and automatically made this team the contender. Meanwhile, the Jets have three and a half minutes left on the clock for them. And when they moved up from six to three, Mike McCatton making that move after not acquiring Kirk Cousins in free agency, uh, making that trade with the uh, Indianapolis Colts. As you can see, he's not pictured, but looks like shaking hands towards the top of the screen there and the Honda War Room camp showing what's going on with the Jets. Pick should be in shortly. I don't know if, 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 if when McCacken made that trade with Chris Ballard, he would have thought in a million years he would have a choice between Donald, Rosen, and Allen, third overall. What do you think they're discussing or just celebrating in that war room? Oh, yeah, and they moved from six to three, and they have to understand the possibility that they could be picking the third quarterback. What happens instead is they have the opportunity to pick perhaps the number one quarterback on most people's boards, Sam Darnold, and that's who I expect the pick to be. It was an aggressive move to make really a blind trade. You never see that, to go up to number three, not knowing who you're going to get at that point in time. It looks like it, looked, it, looks like it could work out absolutely perfect for them. One thing about this division, though, the AFC East, Tom Brady's not going to play forever. And a lot of these teams are in the quarterback market this draft. Which team gets it right tonight to go a long way inside the next decade in that division? Yeah, the Bills with two first-round selections have been heavily rumored to be coming up maybe in five with Denver. Maybe Chris Ballard wants to keep moving back at six. They make a trade to go there at six. If Allen or Rosen is the apple of their eye, there's also Lamar Jackson sitting out there, Mason Rudolph, the quarterback sitting out there, but Don Look, at, the, at the, end, the end of the day, they gave up a whole lot, but it doesn't matter if the kid can play who they're about to announce, and I really believe it's Sam Darnold. Okay, here comes the commissioner with the Jets pick. The last time and only other time they chose a quarterback in the top five was a USC quarterback that Mark Sanchez. Could it be deja vu all over again? With the third pick in the 2018 NFL Drafts, the New York Jets select... Sam Darrow, quarterback, USC. So there he is, 20 years old. In other words, almost half the age of Josh McCown going up the steps and adding his name with Teddy Bridgewater to the Jets draft, uh, quarterback room. The third overall pick of the draft is Sam Darnold out of USC. And I've got, you know, I've got to be honest with you, I think the Jets have hit on a quarterback that can play early, but the beauty of the situation right now with the Jets is because they re-signed Josh McGill. He can, they can play him when he's ready to play. It's a little bit like Carson Wentz a couple of years ago with the Eagles. They had Sam Bradford. If it took him a year, it was okay. If it took him, if it took him eight games, it was okay. If the kid's ready week one, it's okay. But it's going to be on his schedule. Now he's six three and a half, two hundred and twenty-one pounds. He's the consummate playmaker. He keeps his eyes up to extend the plays. The only downside, ball security is an issue. Not just interceptions, but in the pocket with fumbles. Now let's take a peek at him at USC. I love when he extends the play. He's looking left. He feels it back right, though. Steps up in the pocket. Look at the eyes stay up. Now throw him open on the back line of the end zone. That is a beautiful throw into a tight window. Play action on the run. Highly accurate on the run. Great throw. Touchdown. And again, is he an athlete? 
scored 20 plus points a game in high school basketball, three sports star. He can beat you with his legs. The downside, ball security in the pocket, way too loose. Now when that ball gets kicked out in the pocket like this, he's got to clean it up. And the way I look at this, Troy Aikman, you and I are on the same page. We think that this kid's the best quarterback in the draft. And I ask you as a former quarterback, I think you could clean up some of those issues mechanically in the pocket with the football. Do you agree? I do agree. Let me say this, Mike, that what's interesting about the New York Jets, they gave up a lot, as we know, to move up three spots into that number three position. And it very easily could have turned out that they got the third best quarterback. I think, and I, we'll never know for certain, but most teams had Sam Darnold picked as their number one guy. And I'm not so sure that the Jets didn't get the guy that they would have taken had they have been the number one pick. As far as Sam Darnold, he does. He checks all the boxes. He's big. He's able to make plays outside the pocket. You look at his tape and the things that he's able to do. There's some of the creativity that he has. In fact, I think some of his best throws came when he was on the move. I see him work in the pocket right there and then finding the receiver down the field. He spent a lot of time this offseason working on his throwing motion. Jordan Palmer, his quarterback coach this offseason, tightened things up. His pro day was outstanding. He threw in the rain. He'll have some of those conditions when he's with the New York Jets. You talk about the turnovers, those were problematic. He had 22 turnovers just this past season in 13 games alone. I believe that those are things that can be coached out of a young player, and I expect that to happen with Jeremy Bates as offensive coordinator. And Troy, two quarterbacks early in their NFL career that had issues with fumbles, Andrew Luck and Russell Wilson. You live with some of that because you've got the playmaking to go with it, and he's got to continue to improve in that area. I think Sam Brown will and Rich, this guy's wired the right way to handle New York. I was at the stadium in that Rose Bowl against Penn State. He threw that touchdown to the game, and he was like this. The criticism's not going to bother him in New York. Darnold is the fifth U.S. quarterback of the common draft era to be selected to get the first round in 1991. The race is the top minimum. 24th overall. The Bucs and 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 Buc